The organ is one of the most complex of all mechanical instruments developed before the Industrial Revolution. The earliest, simplest organs had one set of pipes, each pipe corresponding to one key of the keyboard. Our newly refurbished organ now has 27 separate sets of pipes, giving it a sound unique from any other organ. The organ is truly the king of musical instruments. You might be surprised to know our organ itself is out of sight. What you see on the platform in the front of the Celebration Hall is the organ console. A command setter of sorts, the organ console or key desk is where the organist creates the music. An organ console typically contains two to four or more keyboards, pedals, and stop controls. Each keyboard has a character of its own controlled by stops like flute, violin, oboe, or trumpet. Some stops create sound that only an organ can produce. The pedal board is a much larger keyboard that organists play with their feet and create sounds that are similar to a string bass or tuba. Additional controls on the console enable the organist to rapidly change from one combination of musical sounds to another. Pressing a key on the organ console sends a signal across a small data cable to the pipes in the two organ chambers, or rooms, located above the main entry doors. Each chamber corresponds to one of the two keyboards of the organ console. The pipes for the pedal notes are split between the two chambers. Within the chambers, blowers create wind that moves through wind trunks some made of PCV pipe, into reservoirs where the appropriate wind pressure is set. Wind then moves from the reservoirs into the wind chests where the pipes sit waiting to be filled with air. Pipes are lined up in sets. Pulling a stop activates a particular set of pipes. The volume of an organ isn't controlled like on a radio. The swell pedal on the console operates shutters that can fully enclose one of the chambers housing about half of our pipes. So when the shutters are open, the sound is louder and vice versa. The type of stop used and the combination of multiple stops also determines volume. The more stops that are pulled, the more sounds are activated and the more pipes open and close. Then it gets very exciting as many of our more than 1,500 pipes spring into action. Notice that pipes can be made of metal or wood and can be as short as a pencil or, in the case of this organ, as long as 16 feet. Because we don't have 16 feet in height available in the organ chambers, the pipes are curled around a bit like a trombone. The organ is a thrilling musical instrument. We are thankful for all who have made our organ possible from 1909 until now and dedicate it to the glory of God for many years to come. <laughs>